The development of cancer is the evil side of nighttime light. One of the most important discoveries in the history of cancer research is the strong correlation between low blood levels of melatonin and an increased risk of cancer. The most extensive and long-term cancer investigation in the world, the Nurses Investigation, published in January 2006, discovered that low blood melatonin among registered nurses was linked to a 50-fold increased chance of developing cancer. Nurses' sleep cycles are disturbed because of their line of work. The gene that governs the body's cell life cycle is regulated by melatonin. Put another way, the likelihood that cells will survive past their normal life cycle and develop into cancer increases with the amount of melatonin produced throughout the night. Researchers demonstrated how quickly tumors can grow in hamsters by subjecting them to continuous light, which almost completely suppresses melatonin. The inherent biological cycles of the body can be impacted by light, even in minute amounts. Animals exposed to the crack of light coming under the room's door saw the development of tumors nearly twice as quickly as mice who spent a night in total darkness. In terms of cancer treatment and prevention, the findings that melatonin suppresses cancer growth and that light decreases melatonin production are revolutionary. Melatonin is an essential signal that all body cells, including cancer cells, receive in order to communicate rhythmic information about cycles of light and dark in the environment. It was found that because cancer cells absorb and metabolize linoleic acid, an abundant polyunsaturated fatty acid, increasing dietary consumption of linoleic acid boosts cancer development rates. The pineal gland releases a lot of melatonin during the dark, which prevents tumors from absorbing linoleic acid and converting it to 13-HODE, a molecule called 13-hydroxyoctadecadianoic acid. In other words, our brain's molecular clocks are disrupted when we are exposed to artificial light during periods of natural darkness. Any light exposure during the night will instantly inhibit the generation of melatonin, which will promote the growth of tumors. Additional illnesses linked to sleep deprivation. It is estimated that at some point, about 50% of Americans experience the detrimental impacts of sleep deprivation. Compared to people living in sunny regions of the world, the populations of northern European countries, like Norway and Finland, that endure months of darkness each year are more prone to sensitivity, exhaustion, disease, insomnia, melancholy, alcoholism, and suicide. They also have greater rates of skin cancer. For instance, compared to Mediterranean islands, the Orkney and Shetland Islands in the north of Scotland have 10 times higher rates of melanoma, or skin cancer. Research indicates that working at night interferes with melatonin production, which causes women to produce too many hormones. The generation of female hormones is influenced by evening lighting, and this can potentially impact the risk of breast cancer. Natural methods for raising the body's melatonin levels and suggestions. Regularly sleep for 8 hours, beginning before 10 p.m. Furthermore, expose yourself to sunshine on a daily basis. These are two of the best methods for both treating and preventing cancer.